the expectations are high. I'm so imperfect in this journey that I just don't believe that I should be doing it. I admire it when I see it on other people's channel, but I just didn't think it was me. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Sophie. And I'm back in your screens, guys, with another banger. I don't know what the title or the thumbnail of this video says because if I'm being honest, I don't know what I'm doing here on screen. But I'm just going to go straight into talking on what has been on my chest for the past months. And I genuinely pray that it makes sense. Any and everyone who has been actively involved in my life in the past two to three years most likely knows about how attached I am to my faith and my walk with Christ. I know that that sounds cliche and I honestly never thought that I would be sitting down here making a video concerning this on my channel because I admire it when I see it on other people's channel, but I just didn't think it was me. In most of my vlogs or sit-down videos, I find myself talking about God, the things he's done for me, the things he's capable of doing, and I just try to encourage my subscribers to walk with God because I believe that he's the way and the truth and the life, just like the cliche way that every other person said it. But I just did not want to be tied down to making videos about God and all of that. And I think my first reason was the fact that I did not want to be held to those expectations that people had for Christian creators or gospel creators or faith creators. Like the expectations are high. And personally, I don't even think I've gotten up to that you know, level where I should sit on a chair and talk to anybody about Jesus Christ or about God or about faith or whatsoever because I'm so imperfect in this journey that I just don't believe that I should be doing it. So I know that being here, I'm going to be judged a lot and it got me thinking, it got me procrastinating, it got me stalling on this video and so many other videos that I should have potentially created. I think what pushed me out of that phase was a part of the word. I think James 3, 1 that said, those who teach would be judged more strictly. And it just made me believe that my fears are recognized by the Bible. My fears are recognized by the word. And I honestly have no reason to be afraid so i am here making a video for you guys even though i know that sometimes someday i'm going to be judged on some of the things that i say i don't know if i should be scared for that or i should be pushed to be better in my life my spiritual work and all of that whatever comes out of this i believe my only regret is going to be if i don't do it because what do i stand to lose starting my channel i always knew that something i wanted to do was to teach to impact to influence and in a very unique way i wanted to stand out on the youtube app i think i've told most of my friends and family that i want to do something that makes me stand out not just something that makes me a youtuber like the cliche youtuber or whatsoever it is i want to do something that makes me stand out and i have always try to find that thing within me that made me stand out to people and when i look at myself as a human being i think the one thing that makes me stand out from a crowd is my faith the experiences i had to go through to get to this point everything that i had to face to get myself you know built up to this point and my walk with christ my faith my relationship with him i think that is the one thing that makes me stand out so if I'm going to stand out to a group of people, to thousands of people, I think it's what made me stand out uniquely as a person that is going to put me out there in a very unique way to these thousands of people. So I cannot be this person and then be putting out this picture and expect that people are going to understand and love me for this personality that is not even mine. It's also very easy to notice that when you come on the YouTube app, you don't easily find creators who talk about faith and all of that. They are here. They are a lot. 
but i would say the amount of creators on youtube if we want to calculate the percentage you guys we're going to be amazed <laughs> we are going to laugh because i know for a fact that we are not that many so i'm going to give this task that is kind of like fat to me log off your youtube app and like completely remove your account you can either sign into a fresh account or do not sign into youtube at all look at the first 10 videos or the first 20 videos come back to my comment section and tell me if any of those videos were faith videos or were you know gospel videos or christian videos and i tell you for a fact that they wouldn't be they will not be faith videos they will not be gospel videos and i just want to do something i feel like i have what it takes to put christianity to put god to put faith on this platform and just do what i can you know if it is out there as a very big deal fine and good i would love that if it's for a small amount of people who i have that is amazing because all i want to do is impact lives and it doesn't matter how many lives i am impacting per video i just want to impact lives and i think that is something i've always said that is something i've always wanted to do that is something that always motivates me i pray to god that i'm able to keep up with this thing that i have started i pray that i'm able to continue and just get better over time but the long and short of this video is just trying to say that moving forward on this channel we're going to be seeing a lot of faith talks a lot of gospel talks i know that this is probably not going to be a shocker to a lot of people i have not discussed this with anybody nobody's aware of this so it's going to be like hmm to everyone who is watching this and i don't know how to feel about that i just know that i was very conflicted about doing it in the first place and i'm not the type of person who says oh god just kept talking to me because most of the times i don't know how to differentiate god from my overthinking but every single time i thought about my youtube channel and something to make it better and even when i was not thinking about my youtube channel it just kept pushing and for a while i tell you guys for a long while i have pushed this thought to the back because i did not want to be involved in it i did not want to go through that path i did not want to do anything that has to do with this but now i am doing it because you can only run away for so long and you can only be disobedient for so long so being that this is put in my mind and I can hear it so loudly i am going to be doing a lot of faith talks on this channel and i pray that god can make me to impact as many lives as possible in my time on earth and i'm just able to make good use of this platform and just be better as a person because i think that this is going to help me to be better as a person less of a hypocrite because if there's anything i hate in my life is hypocrites so if I look at myself in the mirror and I feel like I am becoming or I am being a hypocrite by saying one thing and doing a different thing, I feel like it will help me um, try to be better. It might be overwhelming, but it will definitely help me try to be better in life. So yes, this is kind of a way to help myself as well as helping other people out there who are looking for face creators that they can grow with this is me it is me guys it is me if you're trying to grow and whatever and you're looking for someone to follow you on that walk whatever it is it is me so tell me in the comment section whatever it is related to this fact that you would like to talk about i'm always in my comment section i'm always talking in my comment section so feel free okay i hope that you guys are excited for this new journey i'm about to take this doesn't mean i wouldn't be posting my vlogs as far as i'm concerned i still have my vlogs because i don't think they pass any wrong or unbiblical message so i'm going to keep posting my vlogs if i can i'll still post my beauty videos because as a person i don't even dwell on beauty as like a point where i'm like ha 
without my beauty i cannot live my life and all of that so it's not even that fact and i don't think any other person outside of here should feel that way so i am going to post my beauty videos because it's just a way for me to teach people you know how to be beautiful you don't have to be ugly if you're serving god and i think we're going to talk about that some other day but i just feel like you don't have to go to, oh, let's just leave that tea for when the tea is supposed to be filled but i am still going to be doing the regular stuff it's just most of the videos that are going to be uploaded moving forward are going to be videos that are talking to you about your faith and things that you should be doing in christ and i should be doing in christ and things that just help you live a better life if you haven't already give your life to jesus christ i cannot believe i'm the one saying this to anybody but it is me this time this is a weird thing to say but if you wouldn't like things like this then feel free to unsubscribe i don't want you to leave i want you to stay because i just feel like one day one day i will catch your eye one day one day you will see something that is speaking to you so just stick around okay stick around even though you feel like mm, i'm not interested in this rubbish you want to talk about or this rubbish you want to do just wait just wait one day you're going to find rubbish that speaks to you so stick around on this channel whatever it is you guys are still going to be getting quality and you know banger content from me that is if i've been dropping banger content ever anyways you guys thank you so much for watching this video i pray to god that everything goes as planned i don't have any plans i pray to god that everything goes well and like you know in a very good way this affects my life at the end of the day the message i'm going to pass in this video just so it's not a video where i'm ranting i want to pass a message is going to be if you're procrastinating on anything if there is anything that your mind is telling you this is what you should be doing you guys put your hands to work and do it because chances are it's going to succeed and the reason why your heart is pushing you to it is because it knows that that is the direction that your life is supposed to be taking so you know what quit procrastinating do that thing that you know you should be doing spread the word if you can because the bible says to and there are not a lot of people out there who are being oriented in the best way possible you guys the evil in this world is so proud to come out and speak about their evil like it's not even being facaded anymore so i don't think we who believe in god and have seen the beauty of um the kingdom of god should hide it either we should come out with our word we should come out with the things of God and try to influence as many people as possible. That is what I'm trying to do and that is what you should try to do. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I honestly, truly appreciate everyone who has talked with this channel up to this point. And I 100% appreciate everyone who is going to stick with us moving forward. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Whatever time of the day that you're watching this video, have a wonderful week, have a wonderful month. See you in my next video. Mwah.